But if you have not had sex with women before, you should try it like one time. Hey everybody, it's Perez, next to the one and only Margaret Cho, and I have to say, first of all, just thank you for everything you do for us gays. Thank you. You know, there are, there's only a handful of, of divas, women, that are, I would say, queen of the gays. Oh. There, there's you, there's Madonna, there's Lady Gaga, yes, Kathy Griffin, yeah, maybe yeah. older generation Joan Rivers, mm -hmm. but you're amongst a select group of people that the gays just just love so much. And you do a lot for the gays and you're wearing your Thank purple. You. I'm wearing my purple I'm wearing today. my purple. We filmed this uh, for Spirit on Spirit Day. Yes. Uh, and you made a video as well and yes. um, you know it's very serious stuff and, and um, Well I was bullied so much as a kid and I, I you know because I was I was so weird like I was a weird kid and I was so clear. You, you, even weird. in San Francisco where even you grew in San up. Francisco, yeah it was even worse like because the more liberal a city it's almost like the, the more kids are fighting against that and try to be more conservative. It's tough. It's a really tough thing. So I was so bullied and, you know, that's why I became a comedian. I started really young because I wanted to leave school at 14. And that's when you started doing stand-up yeah, that young? That young, because I didn't want to be around. And your parents were supportive? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> but now they are. Now they are. But you know, like, I, I wanted to leave home because I just didn't want to go to school anymore. And so I understand what kids are going through so much and I feel so bad about it. How were you able to perform in comedy clubs at 14? Were you able? You yeah, were, I was able to. Um, I was able to you much had, like, easier. You had an escort with you um, and things like that? Well, uh, you just my, lied about your age? I lied about my age <laughs> and then my teacher took me a couple of times. I had a high school teacher who like, really believed in my ability and so she would take me and sign me up. And, um, and what was it about stand-up? You said, I, don't, I want to do that. Did I you like watch that. it when you were younger yeah. and you really were a big it. fan? I watched uh, Joan Rivers, huge fan of Joan Rivers, and then I watched Richard Pryor a lot. And I, I thought, I want to do that. That's, I knew that even though I was a real shy kid, that's what I would do. I, I hate Sarah Palin. I would never vote for her. I hate her politics, but I kind of want to fuck her. I know, it's unholy. It's so wrong. I want to eat her pussy from behind. <laughs> Eskimo style. And now though, in addition to comedy, you're doing a bunch of other things too. Yes. You're doing music, music too, which you first told me about like two years ago. Yeah, yeah. And you came over to my place. And I thought you were joking. Like I, 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 I thought you were like, oh, I want to do like a, like a jokey song. And there's some humor in your songs. Oh, yeah. But it's not like parodies and it's not like no. comedy songs. It's like song songs. Yeah, it's, it's original music, but there's still humor in it, but it's still... Um, but it's not just comedy. It's, yeah. like, it's like songs. It's everything, yeah. I, I posted some of them before. Yes, he's uh, been wonderful. What made you want to try that? Just because you I, could? I just um, wanted to, because uh, I worked with Cindy Lauper years ago, and she was like, you could really sing. You <laughs> got a good voice. Why don't you sing it? Like, she was so into me singing. So I was like, oh, if she's telling you you have a good voice, you must have a That's good cool. voice. So I was like, yeah, I was into it. The new songs you have done on your own. Yeah, the new songs are um, songs that I collaborated with people like Patty Griffin and Tegan and Sarah and Grantley Phillips and John Bryan and Fiona Apple. And wait, wait, you did a song with Fiona Apple? Yeah, I did a song really? with Dogs with Fiona Apple. You were in a room with her? Is yeah, that how it she, works? And I, she and I did a duet together that I wrote with wait, uh, is Patty that, Griffin. I, wait, wait. So you wrote it with Patty Griffin and you sang it with Fiona Apple? Yes, yes. That is so cool. It is this, incredible. Is it, you have an album done? Is it out already? Yeah, it's down, and I'll send it to you. I is it on your website? You can buy it on your website. Is it yes. on iTunes as well? It's on iTunes. It's called Show Dependent. I, we need to hear a little bit of the Fiona one. Let's, That's let's a listen. one. Hey, big dog. What do you howl at the moon? I never heard such a sad and mournful tune. Didn't you know the moon is your friend? It's the only 